Good morning! We are now on our first full day in Disneyland Paris. We are up bright and early at the Cheyenne. Love this Wild West theme. It's so cute. It's like being a Western. And we have got up very early. We're going to go to Starbucks at the hotel. One of the hotels that has a Starbucks, which is amazing. Before heading into the park for extra magic hours and see what we can get done on this lovely sunnery, sunnery, summery. Yeah. It's a sunnery, summery yeah. March morning. <laughs> So at the Cheyenne, this is not in fact a bank, lies. It's just a facade, it's actually Starbucks. So we're gonna head in there now for a little morning wake up. So I did spy that they actually have a vegan cookie here now, which is very, very exciting. Um, but because coffee can sometimes give me migraines, I'm gonna skip over some coffee. Because when you're on holiday, you don't need that. <laughs> so just have a nice relax here with Peter. So we have seen the new decorations and they are so nice in the daylight but now we're going to step out and we're hoping our favourite mouse is above us at the train station so let's have a little look. Is he behind me? Is he behind me? <laughs> it's like Panto. <laughs> We are now in for Extra Magic Hours. It is really beautiful at the moment. The sunlight is incredible. And this time in the morning in the park is stunning. So if you're looking for good photographs, first thing in the morning is perfect because the light just hits amazingly. On a sunny day, the stained glass in the castle looks extra amazing. So definitely make sure you go upstairs if you come because uh, that stained glass is incredible and a great photo spot. And there's a balcony overlooking Fantasyland. So we've come across some more construction walls, but at least this one has a photo opportunity on it. And it also includes Maleficent, which is pretty cool. minutes maybe we've been taking lots of photographs which have been amazing but in that time Peter Pan is already a 40 minute wait so if you want to go on Peter Pan I would highly recommend going on that immediately as soon as you get here <laughs> Yeah, I absolutely love Dumbo. Classic attraction has to be yes. done. Oh, I think it's the end. Coming back to reality. <laughs> so as we've come off of Dumbo, the teacups have just opened. So there's no queue and uh, we all know I love a bit of tea time. So <laughs> we're going to go on the teacups and uh, absolutely love this attraction. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it, but I love it. <laughs> I just worked out that the cast from the station is a uh, sugar carton. Amazing. Let's uh, see if we can spin. You've got to be very strong. It's very tough to spin. But, but if you don't want to spin, you don't have to. You just kind of move around. But uh, yeah, I will always try and do a little spin if I can. <laughs> I'm gonna convert people. I'm gonna convert people that this is a worthy ride to go on. Don't skip it. There's no queue for the teacups, so they've let us stay on, so we're going for a second round. Okay, I've properly converted Peter, he's obsessed. This is amazing. It's working. But we are literally, there's like four people, four teacups, otherwise, no one's come for tea time. Such a shame. So we finished the teacups and it was then 9.30 so we were like let's go on it's smaller there was a little queue because they hadn't actually opened the ride yet but we should get on pretty quickly I think
ride where it's kind of like we're all one world community and although we speak different languages you know, I smile with friendship to everyone and we were saying that's something the world kind of needs right now if everyone in the world could go on this ride and fill that message would be amazing now admittedly the queue would be ridiculous you would have to premiere access it yeah. but <laughs> we live in harmony yeah it would be amazing so we are now on our way to Cable Car Bake Shop so Peter can get some breakfast I always bring breakfast with me because there aren't really vegan options at Disneyland Paris for breakfast Cable Car Bakery does have a vegan cookie on the menu so if you fancy a cookie for breakfast that is an option we're going to head there now So Peter has loads and loads of spare coins, so he's going to do something that I've actually never experienced in the park, which is get one of the souvenir coins. So, one, two, oh no, that was a 50, oh, is that Oh, oh, there's coins coming out. Oh, look how shiny that is. It's got buzz on it. Oh, that's Discovery cute. Land coin. That's really cute. That is such a cute little souvenir. So if you are looking for a really cheap little souvenir to take home or to get rid of some coins, I think they're a really good option for three euro. Yay! Um, Making a wish at Disney is all good. World peace. That'll be good. That's a worthy wish. So Theme of the day. Put them in the air. Little wishing well. So we have popped into the shop next to Buzz Lightyear and they have loads of cool Pixar stuff and I found these really amazing marionettes which are like collector's items and they're so cool. Look so bold! I love the Pixar ball. Yeah! I always think I should get it and then I never do. Oh, but but no. You're like, mm, maybe, maybe not. Love this cap. Not to talk about mugs again, but this one, very nice with lots of different Pixar characters on. They are incredible. They are amazing. Imagine wearing that with the blue spirit jersey. Oh my god, incredible. Literally amazing. You could get the full set, you could get the dressing gown and the slippers. This is amazing. You can be Solly. Do we love this bag? Or is it quite terrifying? It's just the head. What's happening? Oh my gosh, they're alive! So the park's starting to get busy now. There's actually quite a lot of school groups here and they'll have like matching caps and stuff, which is good because it's easy for them to find each other. But you'll see a queue and there'll be like 30 people in a group and you're like, oh, that's why the queues are so long. So we're gonna pop over now into the Star Wars shop because um, we want to do something, but it's coming up to first parade time and we haven't seen this new parade. So we're gonna do something that won't take long and then we can get our parade spot. I always like to see what new Star Wars merch they have. There's not been any kind of new series since I was last in Disneyland Paris, but it'll be interesting to see what merch lines have come out. Let's see. This hyperspace backpack is amazing. Okay, I love this Boba Fett jumper. That is so nice. And they've also got an R2D2 t-shirt. Let's see the prices. The t-shirt is 40. So it seems like t-shirts have gone up quite a lot. And this is 56 for the jumper. Oh, I suppose it's both technically. This is an amazing mug. I've started calling everything you drink out of mugs. That's how obsessed I am with mugs. <laughs> That's clearly a bottle. I don't wear hats, but if I did, I would be getting this one. Kind of love it. Kind of love it, not gonna lie. Kind of love this. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Really, really, really love this Grogu Amando backpack. That is so nice. Every single time I come, I see the women of Star Wars mug, and every time I want it, at some point it will happen, right? <laughs> is this a kids' jumper? Why is it just a kids' jumper? That's amazing. Oh, I want this. This is a very cute top, and for some weird reason, they've kind of got like cycling shorts. They just have Star Wars on the bottom. <laughs> So we have now got our spots for the parade. This is going to be our first time seeing Minions Flash of Colour. I have not seen anything. I've avoided all spoilers. You've listened to the music, haven't you? Listen to the music. Yeah, yeah so it'll be interesting to see what we think. It's obviously the replacement for Dream of Shine Brighter. I love that they've kept the stages. I think that was such a great touch. Yeah. So uh, let's see what we can be like. So because we've never seen the show before, we don't actually know what is a good spot or not. I used to like this spot for Dream and Shine Brighter and I'm not ready to give it up. <laughs> so we'll get a look today and then we can always go to other spots throughout the trip. Be ready to tell a million stories because the future is starting right now. Wow, what do you hear? Your cars are 
so shiny. <laughs> I think you can't compare it to the predecessor. I yes. absolutely loved it. I think it was unique in its own way. Yeah, I love there's so many rare characters. Rare that characters was really, really cool tick. to see. And um, they also perform in between the stages on the ground, yeah. which is really, really cool. Lead song. Yes. Tick. I really like the mega mix as well. Yeah. Of throughout the history. Right. I don't think anything will top Dream and Shine Rider, but it is a really good replacement. It's in so, its own league. Yes, I liked it. It was good. So, it's um, a good from us. It's great. Yes. 
very, if you're coming, definitely make sure you see it because it's very good. So we're definitely going to see it again. Maybe we'll try different spots to see what it's like. We need to get there. We need to get in, the, in front of the castle where they all stand. There was about six or seven there. It looks so Amazing. Many. So we're going to do that at some point. So it is super, super busy today and all the ride wait times are quite long. So we are going to go and find the suspension bridge and go across the Wobbly Bridge because I love it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's like no. Oh boy. <laughs> yes. It's very wobbly. <laughs> this is a proper wobbly bridge, which is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you're going on a wobbly bridge, this is the one. The one in California did not wobble as much. This one, much more satisfactory. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy Peter is trying to kill us all. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hi, Jeannie! <laughs> Thank you! Loving that there's some Indiana Jones merch that we found wandering around. And uh, it's all very nice, but I particularly love Mickey as Indiana Jones. Do you! I don't know about you, but when I'm thirsty at Disneyland, I don't be paying, <laughs> I don't be paying nearly four euros for a bottle of gold. I just check here. <laughs> and <laughs> by magic. <laughs> Freshly dispensed bottle of Gout Original, that's what it says, Gout, Coca-Cola. So we were going to head onto the railroad, but as we were walking up, they're letting people in for the Lion King show and there's literally no queue. You can walk straight in, which I've never seen. This queue normally gets massive. So I'm uh, going to go see this. I haven't seen this for a very long time, so I'm very excited. <laughs> saw that show and it is so spectacular it's like Broadway level and I always forget that the Lion King makes me cry and I got in there and as soon as it started I thought oh no oh no this is not good <laughs> but it's fantastic and we were so lucky to just walk in at the last minute and get to see it so if you are here definitely try and see some of the shows because they are literally incredible they are like West End level shows and uh, I absolutely thoroughly really enjoyed that so we have now left Disneyland Park and we're gonna head over to Walt Disney Studios Park for the first time this trip and I'm very interested to see all these construction updates people have said that uh, it's no longer Walt Disney Studios Park at the moment it's more like Walt Disney Studios Park so <laughs> let's go and see what that's like First time entering, I'm very curious to see what this is going to look like. Um, it's quite interesting because obviously the Olympics are coming up later this year, so I don't know if they're trying to get a lot of work done pre-Olympics so it's finished in time. But if not, sorry these ears, I've got a weird shaped head, this, this is going to happen. <laughs> but um, I don't know if they're trying to get a lot done before the Olympics, otherwise it seems a bit of a weird choice to be doing it now when this year they're obviously going to have much more visitation because of people coming to France because of the Olympics. So let's go and see what the walls are like and uh, what, what does she guess what it looks like at the moment. <laughs> so when you first 
first walk out of Studio One, you definitely do see a lot of construction walls. I was expecting it to also be in the front part, I don't know why. Um, because I've been trying to avoid spoilers because I wanted to see the walls for myself, which is a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> like, don't spoil the walls for me, guys. But um, yeah, there are a lot of walls up. And also, I wasn't so, um, expecting in Disneyland Park itself to have a lot of walls, so it's a lot of work going on all at the same time. So one of my favourite nighttime shows is Avengers Power the Night, and that isn't on whilst we're here, and I thought it was maybe just because shows go on hiatus, stuff like that. But actually coming here, most of the area where people stand to watch it is now walls, so it totally makes sense why that isn't ha able to happen at the moment. So first things first, it's now about one o'clock, so we're gonna go to Stark Factory for some lunch. Peter's never been, I've been before. There's two vegan options here. There's a salad and a pasta dish, so let's go in. <laughs> I like that um, even though it's just a basic pasta with tomato sauce, it is still very nice. I haven't been feeling 100% well today, so I thought I'll have something a bit plain. And um, yeah, it was it's very filling. I didn't even finish the portion. So yeah, good meal. But basically everything in the studio's part is an unbelievably long wait. It's a Thursday today, so it's unusual that the... Um, just the parks are so round, I don't know what's happening. There's not like a public holiday or anything, but uh, yeah, the queues in here are very short. And because there's so few rides, of course the queues get longer. And with a few big ones, like Crush currently closed for refurbishment, the queues get even longer than usual. But we're gonna have a little look around, see if we can see anything or what we're supposed to do next. Because there are so many walls up at the moment, it does mean there's less space for people to walk around. So it does feel very, very hectic in the parks. Uh, yeah, what can you do? If there's a wall in the way, you can't walk through it. <laughs> so you just have to get past the people. So Aladdin is currently closed due to the updates going on in the park and Crush's Coaster is now also closed for refurbishment. So a lot more walls over here. I do like that they put Disney like motifs on the walls to try and be like, it's a photo wall now. <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that kind of half the park is behind walls, which I feel really bad for people. If this is their one and only visit, it would be really detrimental because you kind of think this isn't what I thought it was going to be. So we're lucky that we get to come quite frequently. So it's not such a problem, but I do feel so bad for people who are saved and this is their dream trip and it's all behind walls. So we are about to go on Ratchet 2, as you can see, Peter's become an official photographer behind me. <laughs> but it's currently in 2D, so it's going to be really interesting to see what it is like compared to usual. That's the first time I've come off Ratatouille and I've actually not felt dizzy, nauseous, needed to go for a lie down. I That's would amazing. happily, ha I, would, I would keep that yeah. as an option. Yeah, what did you think? I find it should go back to the freezer. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> 
three different experiences. That's good. But yeah, it's good. It's good news. I'm glad you don't feel ill. That's good yeah. news. You can still, <laughs> Carry on now. You can still smell the smells. Yes. In your yes. Exactly, which is good. So, always a good ride. <laughs> so we are going to go into Shane Narayanga, which is one of my favourite shops. Every single time I see this a mill and every single time I want it, you can now buy the ride car as a like little toy. This is very fun. They have a cheese hat. Mama jacket. And this. The merchandise in here is amazing. Yeah. It's so cute. Oh. oh look. Oh. oh it's so nice on the back. That's amazing. Isn't that adorable? So cute. In this shop, as well as lots of Ratatouille merch, you also have the Paris specific merch because this part of the park is designed to be like Paris. So if you're looking for something that's specifically Paris, definitely come to show Marianne. part of the world because none of those things exist they're just posters so it's all about using your imagination Walt Disney loves imagination so they're really pushing that with this record we're not going to build it imagine it have to go on it every trip but you know it's not the best ride when it used to be the studio back lot tour it was amazing and the fire and water are always impressive but i think they spent about 200 euro going put up two posters and uh people can use their imagination <laughs> and the i fuel tower that's good pun but uh it's not a great ride <laughs> so we are leaving the studios part now because all of the rides have really long queues so we're gonna go back into disneyland park we might try and see the parade again for a second time today which would be amazing and uh it's now hot, so I've had a little change of clothing. I had a t-shirt and a spirit jersey on. It's now 18 degrees, so the spirit jersey had to go off. Oh. As we entered the park, a million splashes of colour was so we got to see everyone go back into the backstage area and uh, it was so good to see everyone again but we're gonna try and catch the next parade so we can see the full show but from a different spot and see what that's like
fun to see the pro from a different position. I would say I still prefer in front of the stages because although we had characters in front of us for part of it and the castle right behind, you did miss all the stuff on the stages and that's where it mostly happens. So we only had characters a short amount of time, but so much fun. Really enjoying that show. It's not as good as Dreamer Time Brighter for me, but it is still really fun. So that's been amazing to see it twice today. I'm gonna go back to the room for a little break now, but I'm gonna come back because we're gonna try and see the fireworks tonight. So let's head out of the park and uh, see how the rest of the day go. It is always funny to me how walking to the parks is easy. Walking back to like the bus or your hotel seems to take forever because your legs are a bit tired. But you know, so I think that that's a sign it's time for a little break. But it's kind of nearly five o'clock now. So we've been here since we got here about eight. So amazing, really long day. But um, I'm hoping we will see the fireworks because tomorrow it's supposed to be quite bad weather. There's supposed to be thunderstorms. So don't think we're gonna have that chance and it's our final night tomorrow. So let's try and do it tonight. And hopefully the drones will be flying and uh, we'll get to see the drone show. Two hours later. So it is now almost seven o'clock and I've come back to the park. It's now two hours until the drone show and the fireworks. There's lots of people leaving. So I'm hoping the park's a bit quieter. So let's go in and see what it's like and get ready for the drone show because I'm so excited for this. So we're gonna use our secret walkway, but for some reason it's literally pitch black. So uh, if we all, we've all, we're all disappearing slowly out of sight. Whoa! We're on our way to Phantom Manor, so this is very appropriate. Oh, we're getting spooky. Um, I don't know why it's so dark in here. It's not normally this dark. <laughs> but, um, I would normally advise you to come this way, but um, it's, it's cobblestone. So if you have trouble seeing, don't come down here in the pitch black. <laughs> So something I completely forgot to mention <laughs> is to introduce Hayley. Uh -oh. So Hayley and Peter met last year at Pride and then we have to all be here at the same time. So we've been having an amazing day yeah. together. And then sheer coincidence, we actually live quite near each other, which yeah. is awesome. <laughs> so this is Hayley. Hello. Everyone say hi. <laughs> <laughs> This chamber has no windows and no doors, which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> Love that ride, but before we went in, we had some amazing cast members. As you're walking in, there's some cast members waiting, and um, one of them had a crow on his shoulder. I said, Oh, I like your shoulder blush, and he was like, It's not a shoulder blush. And I thought, I was like, Okay, yeah, I'll just go here. But then it was a 13 minute wait sign, so I had to take a photo of it. But what I didn't realize is he followed me and he was stood behind me. So when I turned around, I jumped out of my skin. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry too. <laughs> okay, but why? <laughs> Peter, do you want to go with the van? No. <laughs> oh, Wait a minute. Huh? Do you want to go to the wedding like this? No. <laughs> okay, the fact is I'm not going to the wedding. <laughs> the wedding? You are going to the wedding. Okay. For sure the wedding of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be late. It was incredible. So big up to Florian and also Florence inside. She was hilarious and spooky too. The cast members really, really do make the magic and it's amazing when you have these incredible interactions that go above and beyond. So because the fireworks are in just over an hour, Fantasyland is now closed. That is something to be aware of if you're coming. They have to close Fantasyland because they hose down all the area because of the sparks from the fireworks to protect Fantasyland. So that means you can only do stuff in Frontierland or Discovery 
free land. So sometimes those queues can go up because people that are wanting to go on rides have to just go on those rides. So we're gonna go and see if we can do maybe buzz, see how long that queue is. It says 20 minutes, doubtful I think. But let's go and have a little look. So Buzz was definitely longer than a 20 minute wait, so we've actually come over to Autopia. Um, it's a, currently a 60 minute wait, but Peter has very kindly paid for us to do Premier Access, which is five euro per person, and we can walk straight on. The, the arrival time is now, so that's going to be fantastic. <laughs> So last time we came on this was during the Halloween party and it was absolutely hysterical. Peter doesn't know how to drive and that's not just in real life, it's here as well. <laughs> so let's see if he's improved or what type of ride we're going to have today. So we're back on this ride. Yes we are. We're going to see if uh, there's a skill level improvement from the first one. <laughs> I think it's still improving. Oh no, it's a nightmare. No, no. If we derail, Peter, we are, we are going to die if we derail. Jesus. Did you just wait here? No, because no. the people behind will bump, bump into us. And it's strictly forbidden. We've been told this multiple times. Me back in the driver's seat on it's Sophie's so vlogs, I mean. It's amazing. Oh. Everyone loves a sequel. Yes, exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of effort being put in, which is quite amazing. Try to this concentrate. Is this is a perfect. <laughs> it's so good. Very smooth ride. Right. This is good, good, good work. That's smooth. I mean, the out. beginning bit where you were intentionally crashing the car. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, like you're going to fail the test. I'm putting yeah. right now. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're going through the heat. We're going to get hot. In a minute. Oh, oh, this is nice. Oh, the heat lamps. Nice colours. Oh, it looks like a horror film. <laughs> and then straight into the pitch black. This is where we get killed in the horror film. Uh oh. Oh, we've broken down. Oh, no. <laughs> Have you got the number for the RAC? It's no good. Ooh. That doesn't sound healthy. Yeah. Are we going to come uh -oh. off, the roof, off the Let's hope not. Let's not derail. This is good. This is good. Good work. Good work. Now we're going down a slope. <laughs> I love it. It slightly speeds up, which is thrilling. Thrilling, because you're going Woo! <laughs> Normally you're going about Woo! five miles an hour, but this bit- I just bit... put my hands up in the air. <laughs> this bit, a little bit faster. Very fun, very fun. <laughs> no. You're gonna, you're gonna have to spray, because you're, you're gonna hit those people. Oh, oh, oh my just God, the stress. Forward, the absolute stress. <laughs> Oh my god. But they need to hurry up. I know I just said we only go five miles an hour, but they're going about two, so um, chop chop. You cannot, it, it turns out you can still get road rage even in Autopia. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Okay. Pia, Pia, you <laughs> break! <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh my, oh my god. god, it's like the M25. There's a massive backlog. No, Peter, I know what you were doing. I knew you were doing that intentionally. I wasn't. I You're, wasn't. That was an it's, accident. It's a good thing. My foot is, is off. It, no, the it's, I knew My you were doing that intentionally. That's I a saw lie. you doing Trying. it intentionally. And it's a good thing you don't I have an annual pass after this trip because you will be banned. No, off the pedal. I am My a passenger and I'm aware. No, I it's saw it happen and you were intentionally. Don't do it again, Peter. Peter, you've got to stop. This is not not acceptable. Not, uh, this is why I'm, never, I'm not going on this ride with Peter ever again. He's a rule breaker, a misfit, a rogue. I don't like it. I like rules. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't actually bang people, like, you bang did, into people. You did, you did it twice. And you did it the last time. No, I was trying to move because I thought that said that was green. Oh. Well. Here we're going. Woo! <laughs> this is amazing. I love our little jaunts out in the car. Oh, Peter, Peter, you're going to hit them again. Your oh, foot is on the pedal. It's not. My foot is not on anything. It's on the floor. I don't know if my bag is down there, but but we're not blaming this on me, Peter, because you've done this before. So there's no Amber. exception for you saying it's me when Amber. I'm sat not, not with pedals. Pedalless, pedaler. 
<laughs> the stress. It's quite stress. Oh. So after our Autopia adventure, we've now headed back over towards Pirates. We're going to try and get one more ride in before the drone show. I'm not a big fan of waiting for a very long time just because my foot, I can't really stand the spot for ages. So we were like, let's do one more ride. Then we'll uh, find what we can see the drones. We'll just find whatever spot is available for us. So we went over to Pirates, but the queue was at least a 40 minute queue. It was like 15 and, and it was almost at the entrance once you go into the cave bit. Very, very long queue. So we've come over to Main Street. We're about midway down to try and see the electrical sky parade. So we're very excited for it. It's going to be so good. I can't yes. wait. Yes! <laughs> Such the thing is, I'm really I was really attached to all the 30th anniversary. I loved all the 30th anniversary drones, but I didn't, I don't hate it. I, in fact, I'd go as far as saying I do love it. I'm just trying to cling on to that spirit of the 30th. <laughs> oh, I it's think it's amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. Like, you can see the technology has come on a lot. There's some really cool effects. The only thing I would say is they have some projections um, between each of the drones. Mm. I would have preferred a more continuous drone. Mm -hmm. I felt the gaps were too long for me personally. I was like, oh, I'd like to see some more drones. Fair point. So, <laughs> towards the end, it speeds up though, and I was like, this is more like it. This is what I expect. When you see the logo in the sky, I mean, that is an amazing moment. The best bit. It's so good, and I'm so glad they're using drones here now. It's such an incredible technology. The Avengers Power of the Night is amazing, so there's so much they can do with drones. And I know that the same company that do the drones here have now opened an office in Orlando, so I think Disney are planning to do drones in. Disney World, which that would be amazing. Yeah, amazing. So I'm um, very much enjoying that. Both of our feet are dead. I can't, I'm actually not stood up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, I literally don't know how I'm going to go back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah, I'm dragging myself. <laughs> it's just nuts. <laughs> so we're going to leave it here for tonight, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. We've still got two more days here. So I'm do about to hear a selfie outro in person. I love it. <laughs> It's amazing. But yeah, we've got two more days still. Tomorrow could be an interesting day because it's predicted to be some interesting weather. So we will bring you along for the ride. But until next time, I hope you have a most magical day. Bye!